Here are the rice fields around this place and it's still very green. I think a few more weeks it turned orange. That's the time that people will harvest our rice around this place right here. These are the common miners. They're very common around here. Sometimes you call them the noisy miners. I don't know why they gather around this place. As you can see, they all perch on the roof. So many of them today, just in front of my resident. So cute. There's a big flock just uh, fly away, and there's still some perching on the roof right here. Don't know what are they doing. But they seem watching every angle. They also hearing the thunders, <laughs> and it's quite dark on the uh, on the rhyme in the southern part of this place. This is the female pie bush chat. It's one of uh, the common species in the open country. So the female is very dark brown, whereas the male is very black, but it also has the very uh, clear white rump. And sometimes you can see when it fly with the waving patch. Zoom there. So right here is the brown stripe that normally Cambodian people call it Jab Don Ta, known as the an ancestor bird. This species is flying long way from the northern hemisphere. For example, they're flying a few thousand kilometers from the north and they come here as the mig migrate, migratory species and stay uh, several months before they go back to the place. So I think around uh, April, this bird is going to be disappeared from here. Welcome to Mr. Brown Strike. Mr. Brown Strike, Jab Don Ta. Actually, uh, this species Cambodian people believe that uh, they are our ancestor bird that came during the Shumban Day, the main uh, holiday in Cambodia that would just happen uh, last month in September. These two dogs, I don't know what happened. I mean, they start, they start barking. Hey, what are you doing? I'm not doing anything. I'm just, I'm taking picture of the bird. Come on.
This one is the plain prinier. It's a very small bird here and they really love the grass. So was the rice paddy down here. I really like this place because I can see the very green rice paddy field all the time and also very good wind <laughs>